<laughs> All right, what's up guys welcome back to another grand cross video and today we have a massive update that brought so many things to the game and there's a lot to cover so I actually might do a double upload for mainly this and the swimsuit characters or costumes which just came out and uh, I guess we'll just do that in a separate video but today is obviously the seventh which means Escanoi is here and with that we do actually have the new engraving or UR gear for Escanor, which you can see right this now if you go to Heroes. And uh, yeah, it's going to completely change the game. The fact that that boy now has uh, basically UR gear is going to be crazy. Now, as you saw by the title thumbnail, uh, what we do in this channel is if I don't summon, I don't tell you to summon. So yeah, I'm basically a video. I'm going to give you reasons why you shouldn't summon for uh, Escanor and Galand because Galan's on the banner as well, which is, I mean, it's cool. It, it, it was leaked yesterday, and I, I think some people have comments about it. So, uh, yeah, we, we knew he was coming. Regardless, is it a good banner? Uh, it's a standard one. It's nothing too crazy since, uh, I guess, like, what? Demon Medi Odis isn't on the banner, neither is the new king, uh, neither is the Diane. So, it's, yeah, if you're pulling, once again, you're only really pulling for the two new characters, that being Galan and uh, Holy Knight Escanor. And yeah, really, really pushing the red mail right now. So obviously, Dean Mediotis and Lydia have been blues. So they are going to get quite slapped. They're going to get quite uh, destroyed by, uh, yeah, by the Dean Mediotis, right? But they're still going to be pretty good. So uh, Galan, pretty much his commandments the same, where uh, he petrifies people if they actually do rank up a card. And they've changed it now. So, I mean, if you're using a red team, Galan, no, you're probably not going to use Gopher. So, I mean, yeah, maybe if someone's using Gopher, then you'll uh, see it, but not really. Uh, and then, yeah, so here's, this one's actually kind of cool. So, once again, pushing this uh, red mail really hard. Strength attribute heroes ignores 30% of enemies' defense when using skills. Um, not too bad. If you have this guy on your team with the new Eskinor, with the, with uh, 6 6 off uh, and, um, I don't know, let's say uh, the Red King, because Red King is also in, in uh, the game we got added last week. You're going to have a full red team, and you're going to have to absolutely destroy and uh, critical over still a standard thing. Increased basic stuff by 50% for three turns. And uh, yeah, no, his ultimate actually isn't too bad. Uh, this one here removes buffs, just and cancel stances. The stances I don't see being a, a big thing. Uh, not that many people have stances, but if you do run to some with stances, it's cool. The buffs uh, inflict damage. I mean, just remove buff damage and inflict damage onto one enemy. Nothing too bad. Uh, the fact that it's a tier 1 where you can rebuff is pretty good. Like Escanor, the green one, it's pretty good. He removes buff speeds to get to a tier 2. And then this one here, inflicts shatters, which ignores resistance. So once again, good against Valenti, I guess. Uh, since he is a red as well. And then, yeah, just does damage onto one enemy. So a single target person. Galand of Truth, the elite demon, isn't too bad. Uh, I bel He's a coin shop. Yeah, yeah, he's a coin shop. So Escanor, once again, we'll go over his two. Applies on fact uh, just increases his uh, HP, so he's can be really really tanky to start of the game So he's basically not gonna die by Mediolus or Lilia and then uh, we know his ultimate inflicts a ton of damage uh, What's it called punishment game over and then uh, this one here is pretty cool This one depletes ultimate gauge rather than removes it this time So kind of a little switch on to what he actually does and uh, you can't really go wrong with that uh, and in this one here, Amplify has Amplify, which means he's going to do more damage per buff on himself. And if you don't know, Arthur is in the game, so he can apply like three or four buffs onto Escanor. And you're going to do tons of damage in return. So, the, why shouldn't you pull? You can get these guys for free. Both of these are coin shops. I'm pretty sure Galan's a coin shop because he is the second uh, Galan. Galan right now is actually in the part one, I believe. No, he's in part two. Is he in part two? Yeah, he is, yeah, because I pulled him. Yeah, so Galen is in part two, so we're no longer actually going to... Am I the wrong one? I'm in the wrong one, okay. Part two, all right, here we go. Part two does feature Galen, and also Malaska did get added, so should you pull? No, you shouldn't. This should be a fat skip. Okay, so if you're trying to push hard in the meta and you want to pull for them, sure, go ahead. But the thing is, you can buy these guys when they do eventually come to the coin shop for free, essentially in quotations, because you have to get uh, duplicate coins, which, I mean, it, are they hard to get? No. Uh, right now, Melascula will be added in a week's time. So, yeah, Melascula will be added. Then it'll be Escanor, I'd assume, and then uh, Galant. And you can buy them for around, if you're going to buy them outright, it's 27 coins to buy all three of them since it's 10, 10, and 7. 
unless you want to wait until they go on sale, which they will go on sale, and you can just pick them up just to have them in your box, or if you want to use them later on, you can. And uh, yeah, I mean, overall, I literally, there's, there's literally no reason to pull for it on this banner. It's both characters are essentially free, so we know. I'm seeing it in almost every video now. We know that Attack and Titan collab is coming pretty soon, so I would recommend you save towards that since them characters are limited and. Are they going to be better than Espinor? I don't know. I haven't seen what he can do. Um, if you have, definitely don't say anything in the comments because I want to keep it a secret for myself to when it comes to the game. Uh, but yeah, overall, it's uh, I like how they call it Game Nova. It's pretty sick. But yeah, Espinor is here. Bear in mind, you do get some new outfits for the characters, which just look sick. So when you do pick them in the coin shop, you are able to use them on uh, all Galans and Espinor. And yeah, so just new heroes will be added to the coin shop. That Yeah, they're going to be both added to the coin shop. So definitely not worth pulling. And if we're going to go over that, what about Final Boss uh, Merlin? Final Boss Merlin is now out and people are already going for a high school and Eskinor is being used. I think the go-to character right now is definitely Eskinor. But the thing is, the whales, like all these guys here, definitely probably already have Eskinor 2, 6 out of 6. So he's going to do tons of damage in return. But the thing is, at least for me, this is completely different. This is up to you guys, right? I always... Oh... They changed it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. No, yeah, this is sick. Okay, so before I, I was aim, for, I would aim for top 15, right? Because that's when you get the the 30, you got 20 diamonds. Now they changed it. So you only have to get top 50 and you get 35. That Yeah, literally. Just get top 50% and you're good. There's, there's no reason to pull. Yeah, the hammers and uh, anvils are would be nice, right? But why would you summon... Why summon for a character... Just to get anvils, just to score high. Like, it, it doesn't make sense. It's like, yeah, there's, there's no actual point. If you want the character, definitely summon. But if you're gonna, if you want to summon Eskinor for the final boss Merlin, there's no need since you only have to get top 50%. And if you look at the rankings right here, I know who the guy probably has, uh, UR gear. But, um, someone did do a green Eskinor. So if you have green Eskinor, whack some UR gear on him. I think it looks like, uh, Helbram is also a go to character and a gopher. So, oh, yeah, this team here, a lot of people should have, and I'm probably gonna try it myself. But yeah, I mean, the fact that they've changed it now, there's no point even going top for top 15. All you have to do is get top 20% and you're, yeah, you're golden. You're going to get free 30 diamonds for free and it's not even worth it. So yeah, I mean, that's going to wrap up today's video. Bear in mind, you can get the the gopher, I mean, the Merlin outfit for free anyway, because it's, it's just by clearing it. And uh, yeah, we are going to do a video around in a couple of days, tomorrow maybe, where we're going to go over the actual final boss Merlin. And, uh, yeah, I mean, her new outfit's here, so it's just, yeah, I mean, too fair, I knew it was going to be a skip today, but, um, I didn't think it was going to be this hard of a skip. It's, yeah, there's, there's literally no reason to summon for Eskinor, not even to, to score high, because you're going to get the diamonds anyway. And still, if you are trying to score high, is it worth summoning him when, uh, you, it might take hundreds of diamonds to get him, just to, you, well, you can buy him later on, it doesn't make sense to summon for him. Anyway, uh, new updates out as well, we're going to go for it in, uh, my next video, but, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and peace.